breaking. SCOTUS has rejected Representative Kelly's attempts to throw out the votes of two and a half million Pennsylvanians. This is the case Senator Cruz promised Trump he would personally argue. I guess we'll just have to imagine how that would have gone. What a disappointment. Now, I looked at this just a second ago, and I dismissed it then, but now I'm looking at it again. And I gotta say, people, this sure is a uh, weird thing for conservatives to be doing Still after fuming about the election, President Donald was, Trump compared. Shut up. Counting every legal vote. The Supreme Court on Tuesday denied a request from Pennsylvania Republicans to block certification of the Commonwealth's election results, delivering a near fatal blow to the GOP's long shot bid to invalidate President elect Joe Biden's victory. The Supreme Court's actions are a crushing loss for Trump who suggested as late as Tuesday that he thought the justices, including three of his nominees, might step in and take his side as he is continually and falsely, oh, CNN, the bias, saying things are incorrect when they're incorrect, falsely suggested there was massive voter fraud during the election. The one-line order was issued with no noted dissents. And this to me, this to me, is the saddest thing of the entire failure on the part of the Trump administration to get anything done with these court challenges, McConnell and Trump have appointed hundreds of federal judges. Literally hundreds. They have packed the judiciary, the people who keep striking down all of these legal requests, all these claims, they're the judges Trump appointed. You know, if I was an optimistic man, I would say this might actually be a pretty strong testament to the strength of America's institutions. But <laughs> in reality, what it, I think it really is, is just nobody outside the blowhards in the administration think there was ever a shot at this. I think that's really it at the end of the day. It's just that ex uh, with the exception of a very small inner circle of lunatics, I don't think like... I'm going to I'm going to end up eating my words saying this, but I generally think that judges are fairly reasonable, not always, but if I were to compare them to an average member of the population, maybe a little bit more than the average member of the population, and I think it's telling that the Republican Party is so far gone, that the Trump administration is so far gone that even the lunatics they appoint to the judiciary are better than them. Because if they really wanted to, they could go out to bat, they could try to make the argument, we should hear this case, but they're not. They're not even. And you know, frankly, why should they even try? I mean, they're appointed. They're going to be there for a long, long, long time. Whatever process they're using to ascertain the validity of these claims is working in our favor, I imagine, because these claims are bullshit. But Folks, we're, um, we're, we're done. Um, today, Tuesday, December 8th, am I correct? This is, this is the safe harbor deadline. Is this not it? Am I not correct? Is it, is it down the road? Isn't it today? Hold on. It is? Safe harbor deadline. Certification. Yeah, December 8th. December 8th is the deadline this year for states to certify their election results, conferring a safe harbor status that compels Congress to accept those results when it convenes to count electoral votes in January. The votes are certified. They can no longer undo this. T today's it. It's the deadline. We're, we're done. We did it. I mean, they're still going to try shit, but... Texas just pulled something big, not really sure what. It's, it's bullshit. It doesn't mean anything. Also, Texas went red. What the fuck are they fighting for there? Um, what? Discord broken? Do you say? Oh, somebody's spamming that in chat. This person is spamming it so adamantly that I thought it was being said by multiple people. Um, they're fighting for other states in Texas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing's going to come of it. How many... Do Wait, let's not be too doomer. How many dozens of times do they need to fail before we take a deep breath? You know? How many times? 
Not even Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito dissented. No, no, no. The Supreme Court that struck that down was the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. They unironically believe Texas has a better case, so PA doesn't matter. Okay, what's the Texas case? Texas case voter fraud. What, what is it? Does, does anyone know? Is, is there anything? Nothing's coming from this, guys. Come on. Oh no. Uncooked chicken. Look, this isn't this isn't our pigeon. This isn't our cat. But look, it no it mourns its fallen comrade. Her family. No. Texas is suing other states. Texas suing other states. It can barely keep up with a, all this shit. Here we go. Texas sues. What? Texas Attorney General is asking the Supreme Court to block the battleground states from casting. Is there any legal precedent for this? A state suing other states to block their... There is... N I can't fathom there being any legal precedent for this. This is such an unbelievably, unfathomably long shot. This is some Stretch Armstrong cross the Atlantic shit. Are you kidding me? What the, what standing does Texas have to contest these election results? Jesus. Texas uh, AG Ken Paxton is suing four battleground states, Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. All states, the you know, battleground states that went blue, of course. Um, whose election results handed the White House to President-elect Joe Biden. In the suit, he claims the pandemic era changes to election procedures in those states violated federal laws and asked the U.S. Supreme Court to block the states from voting in the Electoral College. There's no fucking way. This is gonna get thrown out under no standing. Ken Paxton is under investigation for multiple instances of fraud. Really? Paxton has been under indictment since 2015 on securities fraud charges relating to activities prior to taking office. He's pleaded not guilty. In October 2020, several high-level assistants in his offices made allegations about him of bribery, abuse of offices, and abuse of office and other crimes. Damn, dude, that's incredible. It's almost like Republicans are all criminals and it's a crime syndicate that we for some reason allow to pretend as though it's a political party. Jesus. There's actually a big like list somebody did. Oh yeah, he might get pardoned. Yeah. Um there's actually a big list somebody did at some point. I, I forget what. But it was all the arrests and indictments of politicians, Republican and Democrat. And Republicans just break the record. Republicans are like four or five times as many arrests and indictments. I can't believe we let people get away with saying this is the party of law and order. I need to find that link sometime. I don't know where it is. But it's like some massive, massive, massive difference, you know? This could be his application for a pardon from Trump. That's actually probably it. The only reason this dumb fuck is attempting this stupid of a lawsuit is because he's trying to virtue signal hard enough to Trump to get a pardon. Are the fraud, the fraud, uh, uh, the fraud, it is federal, right? Securities fraud charges, hold on. Yeah, are they state crimes or? Paxman under indictment, securities fraud charges, Riley pleaded not guilty. Prosecutors hit new roadblock, Texas AG's criminal case. Federal investigation. All securities crimes are federal. Is that true? Federal law enforcement authorities. Yep. All right. He's looking for a pardon. He's looking for a pardon. I love this broken ass government, dude. This motherfucker is looking for a pardon. He's trying to Trump, look, I'm doing lawsuits for you, Trump, please. The Trump administration has said they're going to pardon anyone, everybody. I, you, can you do preemptive pardons? Give me a fucking pardon. I don't know if I'm going to jaywalk in the future. I don't know. What? May, maybe, maybe I DUI one day. I hope not. I think that's very irresponsible. But if I do, give me a preemptive pardon.